So you have a zip file and you want to extract it to look what's inside, but it prompts you to enter a password which you do not know. Is there any way you can crack this password? Absolutely yes. Since extracting an encrypted zip archive is an offline task, there are no limitations to the number of tries that you have to guess the password. So you can simply brute force the password of a zip file to crack it. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. Before moving on, let's take a quick moment to thank the sponsors of this video. This video is sponsored by Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud is a platform that provides different services like voice and video call, live streaming, real-time messaging, cloud recording, AI video effects, etc., etc., and all of these features can be integrated to your app seamlessly with their easy-to-use SDK. The first thing you would want to do to use any of Zigo Cloud's services is to create an account on zigocloud.com. Zigo Cloud gives 10,000 free minutes for you to use and that should be more than enough to get you started. Once you create an account, create a new project and choose a service that you want to use. As a demo, let me select voice and video call. There are two ways to integrate this to your project and using UI kits is an easier option because you don't even have to design the UI yourself. In the next screen, you can choose a basic configuration for your app and then click on save and start integration. This generates your app ID and your server secret. You can now simply download the HTML file it automatically generated for you that already contains your app ID and server secret embedded inside and all the necessary code to communicate with Zigo Cloud's API. This also includes the CSS for your user interface. And that's it. You now have yourself a video and voice calling web app that you can easily integrate into your existing application. That's how easy it is. So go ahead and check out Zigo Cloud. The link will be in the description below. As I said, you also get 10,000 free minutes to try out their services. So go ahead and check them out. Let me create an encrypted zip archive with a free tool called 7-zip. I will right click the file that I want to compress and click add to archive and then set a password. This will create a .zip file which requires a password to be extracted. In order to crack the password of this zip file, we can perform a dictionary attack that takes a list of potential passwords called a word list and tries each password from this word list until the correct password is found. But before I do this, I'd like to give a quick disclaimer. This video is intended only for educational purposes. I do not encourage anyone to perform illegal activities through this video. I'm only teaching you open source knowledge from the perspective of an ethical hacker or a cybersecurity enthusiast. So keep this in your mind while watching this video. There are already some very powerful password cracking tools available to do this kind of task. But let's first write our own Python program to crack the password of a zip archive. First, I'll import a utility called zip file that can be used to extract zip files from Python. I will create an object of the zip file that I want to crack. Now I'll open the word list file, read each line from this file and try to extract the zip file with it. The word list I'm using here is a popular one called rockyou.txt which contains more than 14 million most commonly used passwords. If the extraction is successful with any password from the word list, the program prints the password that worked and then just terminates. And just like that, we built ourselves a zip password cracking tool that works. Well, I hate to say this to you, but our tool is not really efficient. It's not fast and it would be much, much better if we use industry standard tools like Hashcat or John the Ripper, which are two of the most incredibly fast password cracking tools that can crack zip archives. Let me show you how to use a tool called John the Ripper to crack the zip file passwords. If you are on Windows, you can just download the pre-compiled binaries from the official website. The first step is to convert the zip file into a format that John can process. To do this, we can use a utility called zip to john that comes pre-bundled with John. I will write the output of this to a file called zip.hash, which I can later pass to John for cracking. Now that I have the hash of the zip file that John can process, I will pass the file directly to John and also mention the word list that I want to use, which is rockyou.txt. And that's it. John cracked the password in less than a second. That's how fast it is compared to our tool that we have written in Python. 
Note that John uses CPU by default for cracking passwords, but GPUs are way better than CPUs when it comes to tasks like this. So we can increase the speed of our password cracking attack a lot more by using a GPU or a graphics card instead of a CPU. John does support GPU processing, but it's designed for Linux and it's a little bit complicated to set it up on Windows. So we'll use another very popular cracking tool called Hashcat, which claims to be the fastest tool on the market. You can download the Hashcat binaries for Windows from the official website. For Hashcat to support GPU processing, you first need to install NVIDIA's CUDA kit. You can download it from the official NVIDIA website and install it on your computer. This kit enables Hashcat to communicate with your NVIDIA graphics card. Once you have that installed, you can run Hashcat with the dash I flag to see if CUDA is correctly detected by Hashcat. Now you can go ahead and run your password cracking attack with Hashcat by taking advantage of your GPU. We will use the same zip to john utility to convert the zip file into a hash. But after converting, you need to remove the archive name and the file names from the hash value because Hashcat only wants the hash and not the file and archive names like John does. So I will just open this file in a text editor like notepad++ and remove the file names and archive names from the content and make sure the file only contains the hash value. Before you save it, make sure you convert it to UTF-8 with no byte order mark because if the file starts with a BOM, Hashcat will simply fail to recognize the hash. Once you have your hash ready, you can fire up Hashcat and run it with a dash dash identify flag and pass the zip.hash file as the input. This will identify the type of hash and display the corresponding hash mode number. Once it identifies the hash type, you can run Hashcat again and this time pass the hash mode number with the dash m flag and then input the zip.hash and also the word list to use for the attack. Hashcat will by default use your GPU for this cracking attack, which is going to be a lot, lot faster than John. Once the attack is done, it will print the cracked password if it was able to crack it. But what we have done so far is only a dictionary attack. If the password for the zip archive doesn't exist in the word list, it means the password cracking will fail. A more powerful attack than dictionary attack is called brute force attack. In this attack, we try all the combinations of characters from a given character set as the password until we find the correct one. This is obviously more intensive and takes more time than a dictionary attack, but it is guaranteed to crack the password because we are literally trying all the combinations. Strong passwords like this are obviously going to take forever to crack, but a weak password like this would not take much time, especially considering that we are using a GPU to crack passwords. So let's try it. I first define the character set of my password, which is going to be only lowercase alphabets in this case. Then I define the format of my password. In this case, I'm generating all the combinations from the lowercase alphabets that are nine characters in length. I hit enter and Hashcat is now running the brute force attack, which is also called as mask attack in Hashcat's terms. In less than 20 seconds, Hashcat was able to crack the password with brute force attack. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you use a strong password that contains a combination of uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Because it would be incredibly hard to crack such a password by brute forcing, no matter how many GPUs you have. So that will be all for this video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please do not forget to leave a thumbs up below. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do hit that subscribe button and also turn on the bell icon to receive instant updates from my channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, cheers.